Uh, ciao, mi amici. So today we're going to do a little bit of a chat about May Day, which is May the 1st. Um, it's actually a pagan celebration that stems from Celtic tradition that still exists to this day. Um, one of the things that's changed about May Day over the years is now it's become a an international workers day as well. So in Italy, it's celebrated as a Labor Day of sorts. Here in the US, uh, Labor Day is celebrated the first Monday of the first full week of September. Um, but May Day in the context of the Renaissance is very different. It's the rebirth from the, from the winter. Um, it is a festival that celebrates fertility and the rebirth. It's around the time of year when planting the crops and the snow is going away, the flowers are starting to bloom again, and it's, it's a celebration for an entire day. Out at the fair, we will actually celebrate what's called May Day Weekend. So we'll take May Day and we'll celebrate it for two days. Um, the ladies will have their hair down for the most part. Um, flower crowns will be worn and there will be a f some different celebrations going on. Um, one of the big things that happens year round at the fair or the entire season, I should say, is we do have a Maypole. Uh, Maypole was actually something that would exist in every village in England. Uh, it, like I say, it's a holdover from the Celts and pagan tradition, and the Maypole w in smaller towns would actually be created every year. The men of the village would go into the forest and find a tree that was suitable and strip the tree down to where it was only a post, and they would bring it and they would place it in the village center in the square, and there would be different ribbons, all different colors tied to it, and there would be a dance of the maypole, which was a celebration of fertility. In the larger cities, let's say London or Deptford, the city that we use out at the fair, the, uh, the maypole would be a permanent part of the city. Uh, it, would, it would not actually be made of wood at that point, more often than not. It would be stone of some sort, whether it was the Renaissance version of concrete or an actual stone pillar made out of different stones built, but it would serve the same purpose in the square. It would be a cele it would be a celebratory object that is representative of fertility and the rebirth of the spring and uh, a way to celebrate saying goodbye to the cold months of winter and hello to the temperate portion of the year. Um, Beltane is actually what it's called um, in Celtic tradition. Uh, it's one of the most important days of the year. And essentially in the Celtic tradition or the pagan tradition, what you would think of with May Day is that May 1st is a divider that it helps separate the year um, in half. Um, that's all I've really got on May Day from my perspective. Do you have anything that you would want to add to it? Um, they say that it is a very powerful holiday. Uh, we actually met on May Day and it is supposed to be good for longevity of, you know, relationships, cultivating new relationships, um, in the scheme of families trying to conceive children, it is supposed to be a very auspicious day when trying to conceive. So for those that are hoping and maybe having difficulties getting pregnant, um, always a good day to try. And another thing that happens in May that we'll talk about very soon is Mother's Day and La Festa della Mamma. So those are the American version and the Italian version. 
but we're going to save that for a little bit later. Until then, my friends, buona giornata and merry meet, merry park, and merry meet again. again.